Here we have an equation to solve for x, and there are fractions everywhere. Every single term is a fraction, and they don't all have the same denominator. So what are we going to do to solve this one? Well, I would recommend getting rid of all the fractions first, and then solving the equation. And the way we're going to get rid of these fractions is by multiplying everything by the same number, by a number that's big enough to cancel out with these fractions. If I multiplied, for example, if I just multiplied 1 third times 3, that would turn that into the number 1. 1 third times 3 is 1. Of course, if I multiplied 3 halves by 3, I'd get 9 halves, so I haven't done anything to fix that fraction. So instead of multiplying by 3, I notice I've got a 3 and a 2. If I multiply those together, I get 6, so that's what I'm going to multiply by. Both sides of the equation multiplied by 6. So on the left here, we need to distribute the 6. So this becomes 6 times 1 third and minus 6 times 5 thirds x. So let's just work on these two. 6 times 1 third, well, 6 times 1 is 6 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so this is just 2. And I'll do the same thing. 6 times 5, that's 30. 30 divided by 3 is 10, so this is minus 10x. And then over here, 6 times 3 is 18, divided by 2 is 9, so this is negative 9. So we've gotten rid of all the fractions, and that makes this a much easier equation to solve. Now, we've got our x term over here. We've got a 2 hanging out here. I want to get rid of this 2, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. I get, well, this is 0, and then negative 10x equals 9, negative 9 minus 2. That's negative 11. And now I've got x multiplied by a negative 10. So to undo that, we need to divide by a negative 10. Those cancel, and we just get x. And a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. So this is a positive 11 tenths.